Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're taking a look at Soul Guardians, a very ambitious project. Do you want to invest in a game that is aiming for a AAA title, probably the first one on the Solana network, then Soul Guardians might be the thing you want to get involved in. So today we're going to take a look at the trailer that they've got, which gives a little preview, a demo of what they're, they're working on, the development team. I was a little bit you know, worried about this, this, this project because what I'd like to see is some some concepts and this demo really reassured me that they are working on a game that that is coming um and if you purchase one of these nfts which is basically your ticket into it then you get access to that game and the play to earn mechanic going with that so we're going to take a look at the trailer we're going to take a look at the website and then the white paper um and then we can talk about the um the pre-sale whitelist how to to get involved in that now the pre-sale is going to be available on the 10th of october so not long the, the whitelist is available until the 9th of october so you've got a limited amount of time until you can actually uh get involved on that so let's take a look at this trailer because i think this is the best thing to start with um it definitely demonstrates that they are working on something they do have a team of developers already soul guardians the first de deflationary NFTs collection. That's what it's going to look like. So we've got play. Okay, I'm sorry, just, let's, let's just go back to that. I want to see what their the screen's going to look like. So they're going to have like play, public match, custom match, customization, rewards, your career, uh, leaderboard, replays. Um, okay, so play there. We've got random NFTs that are going to have different NFT gender, collection, current level, and locked level in there. Are you ready to take your NFT to new heights? So they're creating a 3D game. Have a sense of adventure. Survival instinct and enter at your own risk. Oh God, more than just a minute. Move it. Each NFT is your special ticket to enter our world and play to earn. Yep, yeah, Soul Guardians, a project with big ambitions. You can pick up a an NFT. In their pre-sale whitelist is available now until the 9th of October and then you can purchase them on the 10th of October. If you get one, this is your entry ticket into a game. Now, the price of these are two sol, so it's quite a high mint. But at the moment that's valued at about $330. But it's something that you could flip on the secondary market if you want to. It's something that I think they have a lot strong marketing campaign planned for this. And if you want to hold it, you can enter into a game where your, your investment is going to be put towards the reward pool. So you're going to see some of that returns. You know, about 45% to 50% is what they're putting into the reward pool. So you're at least going to make your half whilst holding your NFT that you could sell for more. So let's talk about the project. The NFTs, there are a unique collection of 10,000 NFTs with more than 200 traits of variation and so much thoughtfulness put into them. Details in order to make them all unique works of art. Some rarer than others, all 10K of them double up as a ticket to the super exclusive pay to earn game. Now what you see in NFTs at the moment is you buy one and the value is determined by the rarity. So the more rare the characteristics that it has, the more that it's worth on a second-hand market. They saw this and they wanted to present a solution to this problem by allowing players to play with their NFTs and for each level that they cross a code that will be retrieved, such code will automatically add it to the rarity of the player's NFT, resulting in a higher value in the second-hand markets. So the rarity and value is not determined by, you know, what you just pure look straight from the off. It is determined by actually playing and not just earning the soul through the codes that you pick up after beating levels, but also that it will increase with some of the experience that will increase the value of the NFT that you own. So you've got soul and you've also got 
um, an increased rarity of NFT and the value's up in it. Therefore, you could sell it on the secondhand market at a higher price. Now, this doesn't mean you won't get random characteristics. The NFTs are designed to have, as it says, 200 different traits variations. So there are going to be things that might be sought after just because they look good, not because they're any rarer than another thing. The game is an escape game mixed with survival mechanics with death matches for players to cross and succeed on. Each code you recover will be added to your NFT log. The higher it is, the more NFT value it increases in the secondary market you can sell it. You can enter the codes you unlock to claim soul rewards. So you're going to get rewards in Solana um, from the website and then decide whether you want to keep on playing or flip your NFT for profit and let another player take it from there. Be safe. Have a soul guardian. So just like the community they're really excited about launching 10k unique kickass nfts exclusively on solana blockchain i've been looking for things that are on different chains than binance smart chain because the gas fees aren't huge but it does it does mean that games where you got to make a lot of transactions it's just not really feasible because you're spending too much and you're losing your profit being on the solana blockchain you're going to have really fast transactions cheap gas fees so that's why i think you know, projects on these other chains are really interesting to look at now. Our NFTs stand out from the usual thanks to the amount of creativity and NFT that went into making every layer of them from different accessories, outfits to tattoos. What's even more exciting is the fact that the launch is not their end game. It's just the opening move and great and to a great and exhilarating chain of events and foundation stone towards launching a play to earn full on video game that will be available exclusively to NFT holders. So the roadmap is that Soul Guardian's online presence set up, done, finalized art and smart contracts done, heavy marketing and marketplace integration. Hello. Uh, that's They're in progress doing that. Release of Soul Guardian game demo video, which we've just looked at. Minting day and launch coming up on the 10th of October. Second marketing wave before game release and Soul Guardian's game release. Project collaborators, uh, the next step and then news about our upcoming triple a game title so they are really got you know they've got huge ambitions triple a game title is a huge statement if they live up to it then you know this is a no-brainer a good investment that's where i think the difficulty lies is are they going to have enough you know juice to be able to create this the development team is made up of three three developers which isn't huge for developing a triple a title but hey they might develop a game that is somewhere near that and you know if it's got good play to earn mechanics but it also is challenging and has a strong play on the play to earn mechanics um, i'm definitely going to be excited for it uh, the team is made up of a team of entrepreneurs from different walks of life and various skills they've got medieval duke who's the guardian angel i'm guessing the manager um head of art department They've got the head of marketing and community management, NFT artist, and developer team made of the three musketeers. They have enemies. I don't get this bit, but Mr. Mureth. He's so greedy, he sucked most of the civilians' blood. We won't allow this guy in our community, whatever happens. One of our main goals is to guard them from this evil. I'm guessing that's just like protect the community from trolls and stuff. Mr. Onodrak. Um, he's pretending to be an ally. But we're still investigating if he's an ally or just spying on us. And Mr. Dot Polka, well, probably in the next 100 years, we'll talk about this guy. Till then, we'll focus on the first two. <laughs> what? I don't, know, I don't know what that means, but I mean, it's mysterious. They're allies. We have a steadily growing, creative and smart community supporting us. And we welcome on board anyone who's interested in seeing this its full potential and go beyond that. Futuristic vision with an innate instinct to help people and to get into NFTs to win. If you're fans of high gas fees or throwing money on projects with no future, like on Ethereum, <laughs> you don't belong with us. The vision is to have it the, the NFT doubling up as a golden ticket. NFT holders are automatically whitelisted for the NFT AAA game title that's coming. They show that they care. They're going to double up on their marketing campaign after launch. That means you can mint for silver, basically, and potentially flip for more money, flip for gold later on. The community will get early access to all the upcoming Solana projects and will be collaborating with in the near future. Intrigued? Join their Discord for all the scoops and get to know us better. So I'm going to put the links to all the, the details on these guys down in the description below. So the Discord, their Twitter and the website. They have some frequently asked questions like how many NFTs will sell? We know that 10K. What wallet should you use? So some of you might not be familiar with the Solana network or like have a wallet address for that. So the best thing to do is to, to access one of these wallet address. We've got Phantom Soul Fair Soleil. 
I use Phantom Wallet, really easy to use. Just go to the website, you can put, put in Google, add to Firefox, add the extension and it will appear up here um, in the top right of your menu. And then you can create a new wallet. You'll get your secret recovery phrase. Obviously don't show anybody that, I'm not creating that wallet. I need to use recovery phrase and recover mine there. Um, this is my new laptop, so I haven't used it yet. Right, we have um, other things to, to, to mention is that where, where can I buy? It's gonna be on the website that you'll be able to purchase the um, when the launch occurs. When can, when can I join you? Twitter, Discord, and Instagram are embedded on the website. And the launch will be on the 10th of October. Whitelist ends 9th of October. White paper, let's take a look at this then. So they put, go into a little bit extra detail, a bit more about NFTs. So this is good, good for if you've kind of not got any awareness of what an NFT is. But for most people, I think who are invested in this and watching this channel, we know that it's a non-fungible token um that it represents digitally an asset that we hold why solana though i think this is an important thing to mention is that it's 400 block time of 400 milliseconds compared to ethereum block time which is 10 seconds or btc block time which is 10 minutes so it's really fast solana can handle 30 times the amount of visa hand the amount that visa handles besides its scaling approach isn't based on software like other projects but hardware so its capacity can be increased basically it's fast monstrous and cheap um, the Soul Guardians, where can you, how can you use them? You can sell them on secondary markets, flip them, or you can use them to play for the prize pool in their game. The gift gets its value by the market. They determine how much it's going to be, how much it's worth. And the different uh, traits that you can get on it will add to whether it's rarer or not. And they might hold some value, extra value in it if you've got you know, something that's got really, really rare traits. Next, we take a look at the, the game section. So the game layout, as we've seen um, from the demo, it is going to be a 3D game. It's going to be escape mixed with survival mechanics, with death matches for players to cross and succeed on. When they battle left level bosses, each boss is built to automatically have an ML behavior to challenge the player and give the game experience more depth and make it more engaging. This is what I want to hear. Like play to earn games, they're missing the play element. Um, you know, that, 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 that where you've actually got to have some skill or got to think on your feet and think, how do I defeat this boss? I need to do something differently here. I need to get a certain weapon or I need to attack him on his right shoulder, not his, you know, because that's where his weakness is. I want to see some of that coming into a game and it looks like they've got that in mind. Game visuals took inspiration of aspects of alien planets. So the game environment is heavily inspired by extraterrestrial after earth looking planets. It's got, it's got a very neon vibe to it. Um, the game structure is a single player game with levels. These levels gradually get more complicated the further you unlock them, allowing you to retrieve a code for each level crossed. The code then will upgrade accordingly to the NFC. Um, will upgrade your NFC accordingly. And so the higher the level, it will be worth more. How am I going to use my NFT to play? It unlocks a special private code that allows you to have access. The rewarding aspect of the game. So you earn from the game by playing levels, the more you progress, the higher the levels, the harder they get, but the more soul that you actually acquire. You'll get a code, which then you can go to the website and use to get your prize. Um, as a minter, you have an advantage in that you'll be able to join tournaments and deals. They believe the community will grow and expand and they'll aim to make it a VIP club. Since our ultimate goal is a AAA game title that will be released next year, places will be limited. And of course, you can flip the NFTs and the sky's the limit. The game is developed on Unreal Engine. Now, this is an important part of the tokenomics because if you invest into a game, you know, you want to know where your funds are going. So this 10K allocation, I worked out uh, based on it being two Solano at the moment, current price is $330 for two Solano. 3.3 million is going to be the total saved by the, the total revenue if everybody purchases one of these at, at launch. And we have 25% being pumped into developing the next play to earn game. So this is gonna be working on, you know, going towards the developers, creating this game, which is, you know, around about over $750,000, which is a lot of money for them to be able to fuel and create this game and maybe hire extra people if they need to. Now, 25% will be put into after mint marketing. This is really important because if there are any left unsold, it means that they'll continue to sell them through marketing, making more aware, you know, 
contacting people like myself, other you know, Twitter, uh, other social media creators, content creators, will be able to get this out to more people. More sales means increased demand and more in demand means increase in value. So the more people that get involved in this, the sooner the 10K get, get you know, swept up, the higher the floor price is going to be for these. Now, 10% will go back to the team. You know, they've probably worked pretty hard on developing what they've done already. Um, so that would be what, 330,000 distributed around the team. Then we've got 45% plus 50%. Now, I'm not sure how that works because I mean, my maths would calculate all of this at 155% if they did that. Um, but 50% of, of, of 45 plus 50% of the royalties are added up to the prize pool. Um, so this is going to be, you know, what's available. So if you're investing two sol, you're going to, you know, one sol is going to be in the prize pool that you're going to be able to get back when this game launches. And so you're basically investing one sol into an NFT and seeing what the value will be. So if you can flip it for two sol, you know, you've, you're obviously going to get made, made your return. But if you flip it for three sol, you've got profit. But you can play the game earn the rewards and then flip it if you want to at any point. The prize pool works as follows. Distributed using a private code system. While playing, you'll be faced with various challenges. All you have to do is get past them and get your private key. Get back to us with it and enter our website to directly receive your prize. The more you play, the more prizes you'll get. And if you're an early guardian and secured yourself an NFT, but don't have gaming skills, no problem. You can resell it on the secondary market. Next up, we have just a just some stats on NFTs is that, you know, look how much these have exploded from February to March. The search, the source of Google Trends data showed that this, you know, just absolutely rose up. Now, NFTs exploded when, you know, we saw like CryptoPunks, Board Ape, Yacht Club, prices just surging. But I don't think we've actually seen this surge of NFT gaming. Like, I think it's got so much more to come. Um, and if you're holding these early before that surge, that's where potential value comes back in the long run. NFTs sold, you know, huge stats on NFTs selling. September the 5th, you know, that was around the, the NFT surge. So huge, huge demand for NFTs. And then they give us the roadmap again, which we've already looked at. And that is Soul Guardians. So do your own search, see whether it's something that you want. If you're still unsure, you might as well sign up to the whitelist and make the decision when it comes to the 10th of October. Very easy to access this whitelist. All you need to do is put your, your email address, your Discord, copy and paste your Solana address from your Phantom Wallet or whichever wallet you use. Where did you hear about us? Other? Go Shiny Hunter. I'd appreciate it. Maybe we'll get more watch to earn content. Not maybe. We will. We will. This one has $300, 10 lots of 30 BNB to be give away. So, Post down in the comment section below. Let me know that you're in and go to Discord, post your competition wallet and uh, your YouTube name and maybe you'll be picked as a winner. We'll do a random draw tomorrow. Yeah, let's do it tomorrow in 24 hours. 24 hours to, to get your comments down. Okay, well, that is all for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe when you can update with future content. That's all for me. See you guys soon.